Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an absolute cell and then how to add one number to each cell. And instead of doing it individually and programming each cell by itself, I'm going to show you how to knock it out all at once so it's really quick. So suppose I have a class and there's 10 students and they each made these grades on the exam. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I want the, I want the average of this to be, to be 80. Okay, the average on the test to be 80. I'll go ahead and tell you the average is less than that, but I want to curve the grades up to an average of 80. So here's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is just do some review. I'm going to calculate some of these statistical um, parameters that are typically used when you're grading exams. So let's do average. So I hit equal sign, and then I type in AEVR, or AVER, excuse me, and I hit average. And then I'm just going to highlight the grades that I want to average then hit enter. Well, there you go, there's the average. I want to also calculate the median. That's usually a kind of a, a good thing to do. It tells you what the middle grade is also, typically done in uh, classes. I'm going to type in MED and there's median, so I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to also highlight all 10 of these. I want to make sure not to highlight the average though. There's my median, a grade of 77. Let's do calculate standard deviation, equal sign. I'm going to type in STD and here's standard deviation, STDEV. And I'm, again, I'm going to highlight all 10 of these points, equals, and there's my standard deviation. I also want to calculate variance, so I hit the equal sign, type in VAR, and this right here is the variance. And then I'm going to highlight all 10 of these points, and there's my variance. Also remember the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So if I take, and I'm just going to, I'm going to erase this in a minute, I'm going to write a function, I'm going to square cell B13, the standard deviation. So B13 times B13, that's one way to do it. And I get the same number, because remember the variance is the standard deviation squared. Okay, so I have all this, and I've already indicated that the curve is gonna be three points, because remember I want the average to be an 80, and if I add three to this, well it's 80.444. So I'm gonna curve at three points. So how do I do that? Well, look at this cell right here, okay? This is, I want to make this an absolute cell. So I want to, in this column for curved grade, I want to add three points to all of them. So this is what I'm going to do. Remember, I always deal with the first, I deal with the first uh, cell first in that column that I want to deal with. So curved grade equals. All right, so what do I want to do? I want to have cell B2 because I want to add three points to that plus. Now, if you remember from the absolute cell video, I said to make an absolute cell, I look at what, what cell I want to make an absolute cell. And it's this one at the bottom. It's cell B15, okay? So what I do is, and I have to manually type this in, I hit the dollar sign, which is shift four, and it's B15, so dollar sign B, dollar sign, and then the number of the cell, so B15, and then hit enter and enter, and then there it is. And sure enough, if you add 68 plus three, that's 71. Now, since I've made, I've designated B15 as an absolute cell in this case, I can go here and then I can, I can hit the yellow button at the bottom of that cell, drag it down 10, and there you go. And sure enough, if you look at all of these, three points is added to them. So now I want to show you what happens if I don't make this an absolute cell. I'm going to make it instead a reference cell. And that's mostly what you're used to dealing with for most things. So curved grade, but instead of an absolute, it's a reference cell. Okay, so let's see what happens. All right, so remember what I did. I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to start with this cell right here, B2. And I'm going to add on to it three points, right? Well, now let me do this. And notice, what's beneath three? Well, whenever you don't have anything in a cell, it's just designated zero. So this cell would be zero. This one would be zero. Okay, so watch what happens when I do this. I'm going to do the same thing I did, except I'm not going to put the dollar, oops, I'm not going to put the dollar sign in there, right? The two dollar signs. I'm just going to put simple, I'm going to add plus, and let me make this B15, all right? I'm going to make this plus B15. Now let me drag this down. It didn't do anything, right? Look, this one added three to it. Look, 68, 71, but then 75, 75, 92, 92. That's because, because I didn't make this a, an absolute cell, it's a reference cell, these ones are all zero. So that means everything under here, 75 was added to zero, 92 was added to zero, all the way down to 77 was added to zero. 
So that's if I make this a reference cell. In this one, this was an absolute, an absolute cell. Okay. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. 